Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty, here with a yarn review from your honest reviewer. If you're new here, welcome. My channel is all about teaching you how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group, where I post about all my deals, steals, and freebies I find in my travels in the crafting world. So today we have one of the three types of brand new hanks from Joann's from K&C Yarns or Knit and Crochet. I equate this brand, it's a house brand at Joann's, to Premier Yarns and Universal Yarns. They're both made by the same company, but the other brand, Universal or K&C, is more of the high-end LYS kind of yarn. This product is hand-dyed. It is 75% superwash merino wool and 25% polyamide. So of the three yarns that came out, this is the only one that is animal fiber based. It is 492 yards or 450 meters, 3.52 ounces or 100 grams. And it says a three millimeter hook or a three point, oh sorry, three millimeter needles or a 3.5 millimeter hook. It says it's one super fine, machine washable dry flat, this is the color Acid Green. There was really some other nice neon colors too. Check out my shop with me for the full beautifulness of what this yarn comes in. And it is made in Turkey. It is pretty darn soft. I gotta be honest. Pretty darn soft. Oh, it is nice. It does feel nice, let's see not scratchy at all the opposite of scratchy oh my goodness it's so nice all right enough of that <laughs> i could do that all day um <clears throat> it's very squishy very soft i can't wait to see how this works up on the table and this is what we look like if we're looking at one strand I definitely think it's a one weight, but we'll see when we get up on the table and wraps per inch it. I'm so excited. All right, I'm going to turn this around and we're going to see how it works up on the table. See you in a minute. Hi everyone, here we are on the table with this honest yarn review of K&C hand dyed 75% superwash merino wool, 25% polyamide. So, as of the recording of this video, let me just check my receipt because I can't recall. The other two hand dyed yarns that I reviewed that have the cotton are $9.99. This one is $12.99. So keep that in mind. $12.99, but you're getting superwash merino. So if you see SW merino wool, that means superwash, which means it's got a lot less likelihood of felting or becoming all stuck together when you wash it. It's also generally going to feel softer than regular wool in general, I find. Look at that color. Beautiful. So I am going to unhank this. I am not going to put it in a cake right now. I don't like to put them in cakes before I'm ready to use them. Um, and I am going to get some yarn out of this hank without destroying my hank and I will be back in a moment. Okay the first thing we're going to do here is check the wraps per inch. This is my wraps per inch gauge. This is from Pink Sheep Designs. It is 3D printed and I will link where to get this down below. If you don't know what wraps per inch is I will also link my video where you can learn all about what this standardized measuring tool or measurement is. You don't need to use this specific tool, but it just is easier for me, considering I use it a lot. Let's count. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So we were right at a fingering slash lace. So all of these three K and C yarns measured at the same wraps. Just so you know, now, again, this is the only one that's got the animal fiber. I can already tell it's gonna be really soft. <clears throat> this didn't come in nearly as many colors as the cotton or, co what size am I looking for? 3.5. This one. Sorry, I got confused. This didn't come in nearly as many colors as the cotton or cotton Lurex. Let me zoom in a little bit, I'm sorry. So just keep that in mind. Not that I'm gonna ding it for that because it came in some pretty ones. Again, if you're into neutral yarn, this is not the yarn for you. These are very vibrant colors, which I'm happy to see. Happy, happy to see the vibrant colors. I don't know what I'm gonna make out of this yet. I have to go downstairs actually and check and see what the Hobby Lobby hand dyed Hanks I got last year on clearance with their um, with their fiber content is. But if it matches up with this, I might pair this with one of those because I'm definitely gonna pair the two cottons together, the two K and C cottons. Right, I'm gonna speed this up. All right, now we're doing a half double crochet. It feels like a pillow in my hand in all the nicest ways. It is so soft. I'm just luxuriating in this superwash merino right now. There is nothing scratchy about this cloud. It is so pretty and so soft. I would sleep on this. Just the hank. <laughs> right next to my head, right? Sleep like a dream. It's not getting caught up. Okay, now we're doing our half double crochet row. It is so nice to crochet with. Oops, I didn't pull enough from the hank. All right, we're gonna stop there. Otherwise I have to untwist this and unwind it and I really don't feel like it. So let's zoom this in. It has beautiful stitch definition. It is so soft. If you want solid colors, this is the one for you. Um, oh my gosh, it's just so nice. And look at how vibrant that acid green is. So pretty. Hmm. 
$12.99, a little bit more expensive than the other ones, but it's Superwash Merino wool. Let me zoom out so I can frog this for you guys, see how it does. I don't think it'll be a problem. up in one spot here. Oop. We have a little problem. Okay, we got caught up. I'm going to have to undo that later on because I'm going to have to cut a small thread, I think. Oh, well. No, I'm going to do that later when I can see better. So, a little bit of a problem frogging, but otherwise really nice. Um, more of a solid color palette for folks that like that. But I am going to give this... I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Just because... It is $12.99 and it had a little bit of a problem frogging. I mean, not super awful, but it's gonna get a nine out of 10. It's not getting a 10 out of 10. So please like, share, and subscribe so your friends can learn how to be affordably crafty too and have a creative day, everyone. Bye-bye.